This is my 5,000th math related video on YouTube. Why did I start? I guess my 5,000th video is a good way to tell my story and my math journey. So here is my mathematical journey while my wife completes this MC Escher puzzle we got at Goodwill. Like most people, my math journey started in school. As long as I could remember, math was always my favorite subject, except for PE. I was never the best in my math class, but I would say I was above average. I just liked math because it seemed to make sense. There was a right answer to every problem. It was black and white. Other subjects seemed to have a gray zone answer. Also, I was so bad at spelling, so numbers were just easier. I would say I got my math abilities from my mom. She is Professor Emeritus at Frederick Community College. She taught math there and always helped me with my math work. I was always helping people teach math growing up. In elementary school, I remember skipping recess to help a friend with his math work, and I started tutoring in high school. I doubled up math courses in my sophomore year so I could take the BC Calculus class in my junior year. But the course was a little too tough for me, so the spring semester I transferred to the AB Calculus class. That was the right call and ended up getting a 5 on the AP exam. I learned a good lesson that year, to not push yourself too hard when you're not ready. Because my mother taught at the local community college, I got my tuition there free. During those two years, I worked multiple jobs. I was a TA for a few math classes, worked in the tutoring lab, and tutored on the side. I even stacked hay at a local farm during the summer to pay for college. I took every upper-level math course they had to offer at Frederick Community College. I transferred to Mount St. Mary's University, where I was also a TA, tutored, and graduated with my BS in mathematics in 2011. I got a job teaching mathematics at Mount DeSales Academy in Catonsville, Maryland, and that is when I started my YouTube channel, September 2011. I really enjoyed teaching there and enjoyed making videos. Making videos had a two-part benefit. One was my students. I think it was great that students get to see videos from their teachers teaching. The second was the world. I started to get comments from people on YouTube saying that I was helping them with their homework or their kids' homework, and I loved it. My biggest video was, well, the first biggest video was a quadratic formula song, which I sang to my students to the tune of One Thing by One Direction. That band was big at the time, and since I taught at an all-girls school, they seemed to like it. I will put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Over the four years at that school, I completed my master's in mathematics education at Hood College in Frederick, Maryland, and taught the first BC calculus class offered at that school, ever. That was a learning experience for sure. I then got a job teaching as a visiting assistant professor at Mount St. Mary's University, my alma mater. That was a one-year contract, and I loved it. During this time, I got engaged and was still making math videos, but it wasn't as regular. Over the summer, my one-year contract was up, and I found myself without a job. And then I got married that summer. I then taught a little bit at a public high school, but wasn't sure teaching was my career path, so I got a job in finance as an aircraft loan broker. It was an interesting time, and I enjoyed learning new things. But this was the time I really started making math videos. I made one light board that was small for my math videos. I would get up early and record videos before I went to work. My wife would edit and upload them to YouTube and post them while I was at work. And we just repeated that for two years. One time, I even was holding my daughter below camera while I was recording a video. You couldn't see her on the video, but I think there's a few times she uh, coughs in some of my older videos. So you might see it there. I remember getting excited when I was first monetized and was making three cents a day. I know not much, but hey, free math videos don't pay well. I then made a second light board, which is 4 feet by 8 feet in size, and was a great upgrade in creating content. I will put a link in the description to the video on how I made it. I was still teaching at night as an adjunct professor at Mount St. Mary's University, as well as my full-time job, and I also completed my MBA at University of Maryland University College, now known as University of Maryland Global Campus. I knew finance wasn't for me, and I got a job working at a company creating college-level courses. My channel has slowly grown over the years since then, and I still love that I get to teach millions of people online with my free math videos. 
I still love reading every comment that people leave about how much my videos have helped them. It really makes me enjoy making these videos and keeps me going when I don't feel like creating them. So that is my math journey and creating this YouTube channel. I don't think I will ever stop creating math videos. I'm sure that this channel will evolve over time, but I truly love helping others learn the wonderful subject of mathematics and hopefully making it fun for them and this channel lets me do this on a global scale. So if I was to give any advice to someone struggling with math, I would say keep at it. Math is a beautiful subject and doesn't cost anything to learn. You just need a brain, a piece of paper, and a pencil, and maybe some free online YouTube videos. Also, as you see, this puzzle is missing a few pieces, and that's what happens sometimes in life. But that is okay. Nothing has to be perfect in life. Anyway, I hope one day to post my 10,000th math video online. But until that day comes, as always, thanks for watching.